said in the new series that we've been working on here at Museum on body, medicine, object, where we're experimenting with new ways of getting close to the objects and spaces in the museum and how that might help us to think differently about medicine and our own bodies. And I'm not going to say much more at this point, I'll just introduce Lucy Lyons. He's from London but was with us as a postdoctoral research fellow for two years um, here at Museum. Uh, first of all, I just, I mean, obviously I want to thank Louise because she's arranged these events. And this particular event kind of stemmed from me being a postdoc here and then the sort of finalisation of the work I've done uh, coming to fruition as an exhibition. And the idea that what, what I do is I use a particular practice in art to understand things that I encounter medical things that are overlooked. You've probably been to art lectures where artists have talked about their work. Uh, you may have been on art courses where you want to find out more about how to do something. You might have signed up for courses. This is neither of those things. You are going to be doing some work, but it's going to be about us hopefully giving you a chance to find out how the processes we can show you you can use them and find out things for yourself. So that's what this evening's going to be about. So I won't say any more, I'm going to hand over to my guests. Today we'll be engaging photo uh, photographically with the space here at Mosiah. But I'll just introduce you a little bit to some techniques. And first of all, I'll show you some examples of how I look at overlooked spaces. And this series is from the private space of a home. And the last one is from a hospital and research facility uh, here in Copenhagen, Panum and this hospital. So when you start working with photography, uh, seriously, uh, um, as a student, say, go to an art school or something like that, the first, one of the first people you encounter is um, John Berger. And I have this little quote from his book. We only see what we look at. To look is an act of choice. And that's what I want you to, to think now, in a minute when you're going to take a photograph. So now I want you to go and look at the rooms here in Mosiah. We've selected a few rooms. Some of them have very, very interesting objects in them, and others have nothing interesting to some people and then to other people that would be the most interesting place to be. So your task is to go out and spend some time looking and if you want to look through your camera constantly and take a thousand photos it's okay but you need to allow some time at the end of course to edit. Det der ligner den med det. Og det kunne være hvor som helst, ikke? Jo, det kunne det. Men du kan også prøve at udforske det her lidt. Er der alle firkanterne? Vi skal prøve at gå og finde en anden vinkel, så bliver det. That's all I have for you, but uh, I really look forward to seeing the photos. They will be uploaded to an online gallery. I think I maybe should have told you this before. <laughs> to a space where my exhibition is being put up. It's not quite finished, and it opens tomorrow, so you're having a preview preview. And then we're going to um, do something in that space. Okay. I use something that's very different, which is the technology of um, the hand and the eye and the pencil and I engage with the world around me through the tip of the pencil. And basically, um, the two years that I did my postdoc here was looking at uh, the overlooked in uh, medicine and health around us and used drawing as a way of trying to uh, show them to people. And things associated with ageing are often quite ugly or they're things you don't want to really look at. Um, for instance, we've got this false teeth, 
There's uh, hip replacements. So there's things that are inside your body that help you. But what I wanted to bring to you was not how to make drawings as a noun. Here's some drawings that you are going to make. These drawings are going to be how you are seeing the things in this room and maybe starting to see things very differently and see things that you would never have noticed and maybe start appreciating these overlooked things around us. actually like you know sort of almost half made of bone themselves um, so yeah you can have a look on the way past there's also the, one of the molds so I'm going to show you some pictures of how they're made but um, I've put one of the actual molds it's very very worn out now because it's cast like a lot of twigs about 50 or so out of that mold so it's kind of dead but it's there so that you can kind of see one in the flesh so yes yeah, so if you want to come through and see the Yes. Just take one twig and one card. Um, that would be great. And then, yeah, go back to your seats. Thanks. So you're not going to know exactly what size. I've got all different sizes of boxes. So I would suggest that you fragment first and then take your pieces over and find an appropriate size box. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ich bin nicht jung und tot. Ich bin nicht jung und tot.